Hi everyone, I'm Marcy, COSI's Director of Science Content. I hope you all have enjoyed COSI's Digital Science Festival so far. Today, in honor of our big at-home science celebration, I am doing some science at home. So I am going to show you how I am making marbled paper using just a few things that I already had around the house. So to do this, you will need some foam shaving cream, some food dye, whatever colors you want, of course some paper, and what I did is I just took some old scraps of paper and cut them into smaller sizes. Um, you're going to want a toothpick, or you can also use a, a fork for this. A spoon is helpful to have, a cookie sheet or a plastic bin that you can do the project in. Um, and then I find it really helps to have a shower squeegee. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing on my cookie sheet. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray some of the shaving cream down. And I just need an area that's big enough for... I just need an area that's big enough for my paper to fit on there. And you can use the spoon to kind of smooth it out a little bit. Um, and you will see, especially if a lot of people are participating this in this in your household, um, you can reuse this, this foam over and over again. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put some drops of food coloring on top of my foam shaving cream. So I already picked out the colors I want. You can use whatever colors you want to make it pretty. So you can see that those drops are really just sitting there on top. I'm gonna take, uh, I actually have a bamboo skewer here. I'm gonna take this and I'm going to pull it through the foam and you can see that as I pull it through, the dye is going to go with it. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of, I'm marbling this shaving cream. Um, and I'm gonna do this for a minute here so I can get some pretty designs. Um, but what you'll see is that even though it is spreading with the, with the toothpick or the skewer, um, the dye isn't really fading into the foam all that much. And that all has to do with the molecular structure of both the, both the shaving cream and the food dye. So food dye is actually mostly water and water is a polar substance. And what that means is that um, one end of the molecule tends, it, one end of the molecule is more positively charged and the other end is more negatively charged. Um, and polar things like other polar things, and they mix well with them. Now, this shaving foam is actually mostly soap with a bunch of tiny little gas bubbles in it. Um, and soap, one end of it is polar while the other end is non-polar. So one end will stick to water and other polar substances, but the other end won't. So you can see it's just kind of sitting on top. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take one of my sheets of paper and I'm gonna press it down in a spot that I think looks good. And you wanna gently press just to make sure that all of it is making contact with the foam. And it looks like I got a little bit of food dye on my hands, that's okay. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna press it all the way down, make sure there's no spot that was missed. And then I'm gonna lift it up by a corner. This is where it gets a little bit messy. You can see a lot of that um, shaving cream stuck on there, but that's okay. I'm gonna come over to this other end of my um, cookie sheet and I'm gonna take my squeegee and I'm just gonna scrape off all of that shaving cream. Now underneath what you see is that while the shaving cream easily scrapes off, the dye itself is gonna soak into the paper. And that's because paper is made mostly of cellulose, which is a polar substance. So that food dye, which is also polar, will stick to the paper. So I am going to let this dry, and then I'm going to go find something fun to do with my artwork. 